In this demonstration, a crumpled paper towel is placed in the bottom of a beaker. The beaker is inverted and fully submerged in a beaker filled with water. Notice the water level within the small beaker. The beaker is then removed from the water. The paper towel is completely dry. Wow, magic. This illustrates that gases take up space and have volume. The constant motion of these molecules leads to collisions between molecules, the container walls, and the water surface. These collisions give rise to pressure, which pushes on the water surface and keeps the paper towel dry. In this demonstration, the piston in a syringe is pushed inward. The air inside the syringe is compressed as the pressure is measured with a pressure sensor in KPA. Notice that as the volume of the air inside the syringe decreases, the pressure of the air inside increases. With less space to move around, gas molecules collide more often, leading to greater pressure. The opposite is also true. If the piston of a syringe is pulled outward, the volume of the air inside the syringe increases and the pressure of the air inside decreases. With more space to move around, gas molecules collide less often, leading to a lower pressure. When the temperature is held constant and the pressure on a gas increases, the volume decreases. When the pressure on a gas decreases, the volume increases. This is an indirect relationship between P and V. In this demonstration, a balloon is placed in a bell jar. A vacuum pump attached to the bell jar is turned on and the air is removed, leading to a lower pressure inside the bell jar. Notice that as the pressure inside the bell jar decreases, the volume of the balloon increases. As air is removed from the bell jar, there are fewer gas molecules present to collide and exert pressure on the balloon. The lower pressure exerted on the balloon allows the distance between the molecules to increase inside the balloon, causing the increase in volume. If the vacuum pump is disconnected, air rushes back into the bell jar. The air pressure increases and the volume of the balloon decreases. As air returns to the bell jar, there are more gas molecules present to collide and exert pressure on the balloon. The higher pressure exerted on the balloon allows the distance between molecules to decrease inside of the balloon, causing the balloon to return to its original size. When the temperature is held constant and the pressure on the gas increases, the volume decreases. When the pressure on the gas decreases, the volume increases. This is an indirect relationship between P and V. In this demonstration, a balloon is attached to the mouth of a flask, which is heated directly on a hot plate. A small amount of water is present in the flask. Notice that as the temperature of the air inside the balloon increases, the volume of the balloon also increases. The gas molecules have more energy and move faster, causing them to spread out more to fill the balloon. Next, the flask is submerged in a cold water bath. Notice that as the temperature of the air inside the balloon decreases, the volume of the balloon also decreases. The gas molecules have less energy and move slower, causing them to come closer together inside the balloon. When the pressure is held constant and the temperature of a gas increases, the volume increases. When the temperature of a gas decreases, the volume decreases. This is a direct relationship between T and V. In this demonstration, a temperature sensor and pressure sensor are placed inside of the bell jar. A vacuum pump attached to the bell jar is turned on and the air is removed, leading to a lower pressure inside the bell jar. Notice that as the pressure inside the bell jar decreases, the temperature also decreases. By removing gas molecules, there are fewer molecules colliding, hence the lower pressure. As a result, there is also lower average kinetic energy and the temperature goes down. If the vacuum pump is disconnected, air rushes back into the bell jar. 
the air pressure increases and the temperature of the balloon also increases. By adding gas molecules, there are more molecules colliding, hence the higher pressure. As a result, there is also higher average kinetic energy and the temperature goes up. When the volume of a gas is held constant and the pressure of a gas increases, the temperature increases. When the pressure of a gas decreases, the temperature decreases. This is a direct relationship between P and T. In this demonstration, a small amount of water present in an otherwise empty can is heated on a hot plate until steam is seen condensing out of the opening. The can is quickly flipped over and placed in an ice water bath. Boom! The can is crushed. Notice the water coming out of the can as it is removed from the bath. The can is casually tossed aside with the knowledge that we are amazing chemistry teachers who can straight up crush matter with our minds. In all seriousness, the temperature of the air inside the can increases initially during the heating, causing molecules to speed up with some exiting through the opening. The temperature of the air inside the can quickly decreases when in contact with the ice water, causing molecules to slow down and contract. The volume of the gas and the can decrease during the rapid cooling process, causing the can to be crushed.